a few days ago I made a video about a new online service called languageterminal.com from Kilgray and we used that service to translate a simple InDesign file in the native uh, InDesign format INDD. For that we used MemoQ and today we will be translating the same InDesign file but using SDL Trader Studio 2011 instead of MemoQ and here is how to do it. So first I'll go to languageterminal.com and I will log in to my account and here I'll select uh, InDesign import and I'll add my file. So I'll browse and I'll select my INDD file and I'll start uploading it. Okay now the type is it import or export? It's uh, import InDesign into XLIF, right? and I'll select the source language which is uh, English and as target language I will select uh, French from France, this one, and save. Now the export is in uh, progress from InDesign into XLIF and it's uh, ready so I can save this uh, zip file here and I will save it uh, uh, on my desktop and in my InDesign Deluxe folder. Okay, so here is uh, my file. I will extract the content here and uh, here I have, um, uh, I can delete now the zip file, no longer needed. And uh, here I have this uh, MemoQ XLIF file, which is in fact a zip file. So if we were, if we were using MemoQ, we could uh, open that file directly in MemoQ. But with Studio, we have to work slightly differently. So I will rename that file to zip like this. And now I can extract the content of uh, that file. So again here and we have in that file two files. One is document.mqxlif and the other one skeleton.xml. In order for Studio to be able to open that xlif file we have to rename that file to and delete mq so that it's just xlif and uh, then Studio will accept it. So now let's uh, move to Studio and in Studio I'll create a new project that I will call InDesign via languageterminal.com and next. English and French are my languages. Next and here I'll add as the file I'll add on my desktop in this folder this xlif document open and next and here I'll create a, small, a new tm for that purpose so I will call it uh, test tm and next I won't be using any of this next and same with uh, this finish okay close and uh, now I will finish okay close and if I go to files I have my xlip file here and I will open it for translation so it looks about the same as uh, in MemoQ and uh, what I'll do like with MemoQ I will uh, translate a few sample segments. So let's start with this one. I will confirm it and now uh, move to this one and I'll translate that too quickly again and uh, now I'll move further here. Let's translate that one too and this one also and uh, one more I think it was at the very end so that was uh, title subtitles so let's translate that one too okay 
And for the rest, uh, we will be doing like with MemoQ using uh, pseudo translate. So I will go back to files here. And I think I should be able in batch tasks to select uh, pseudo translate. Okay. And uh, I will save it. And now I will be using uh, pseudo translate next. I think this is okay. I will be using a slightly smaller expand factor 1.1 and finish. Now close and I will reopen the document just to verify that uh, it has been pseudo translated. Yes, looks okay. So what I'll do now, I will save the translated uh, files, so save target as and I have my document, so it will go to this special folder created by Studio. Save. Okay. So now I no longer need Studio. I can close it. And I will go to the folder created by Studio. So that's Studio 2011 and Project and in design and that was my target folder so here i have the translated uh, document.xlif i will move it back to my original folder i will overwrite the original document that i had like this and before proceeding i have to rename it back to mqxlif otherwise I won't be able to upload it to language terminal. So here it is and now last step I will zip the translated mqxlif file and the skeleton together in a new zip file so I will call it um, uh, compress uh, here well it will have this name here okay Actually, I will just call it uh, sample in design uh, underscore fr. So I know it's my French version. And uh, instead of zip, I will be using the MemoQ extension. So MQXLC like this. So now in principle, I should be good. I no longer need these uh, original files. I will delete them and I will go back to language terminal and I will upload this file that we just obtained. So browse and uh, that's the one and start uploading. And this time import or export, it's no longer import InDesign into XLIF, it's the opposite. So it's export XLIF into an InDesign. So I will save this. And now it's in progress. And I have my file ready here. So I will save it again to the same folder. Okay. And now I can unzip that file here. And I should have both my translated InDesign, which unfortunately I cannot open since I don't have uh, uh, InDesign, but I also have a PDF uh, representation of that file. So I can open it to check what we got. So like with MemoQ, we got uh, our translated well, partially translated into French and partially pseudo translated. So here I have uh, the main title and here I have my red titles that I translated. The bulleted lists are okay. Numbered list is okay. Even the footnote made it and so on. So we achieve about the same results as with uh, MemoQ. So that was how to use languageterminal.com in order to obtain a standard XLIF file, which we can translate with uh, any XLIF compatible tool, for instance, uh, SDL Toilet Studio 2011. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.